Evan Schmidt, Adventure Vehicle Reviews. I'm here with Matt with Midland Radios. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you got here? So Midland has been in the radio business for over 50 years. Uh, right now we live by the lifestyle of uh, reliable communication for every adventure. We really want to provide people um, affordable communication that works. Uh, when you have it out there, you know, it, it's important that nothing goes wrong. Right. Uh, so that's something we've always been behind. We have a really, really good warranty. Um, we're debuting our new PPG 100 uh, portable power station. It's a 950 watt lithium ion battery in a weather resistant case when sealed. Uh, the nice thing about this is several uses you can do in uh, like the prepping side of things, uh, emergency preparedness, uh, going out overlanding, uh, you know, just a weekend trip. It gives you a power source to be able to run a laptop off of a mini fridge, a TV, you know, whatever your needs be, whether it's lighting. Um, and then with the case being sealed, you can actually throw it in the back of a pickup truck, so. Interesting. So Matt, you got a lot of cool equipment here. What would you say your target audience is? Who is it that you're, you're looking to see use this type of equipment out in the field? Uh, your adventure. You know, adventure can be defined in many, many ways. Uh, it could be four by four, it could be backpacking. Uh, it could be a, a family that's going out for just a camping trick on the weekend. Uh, with our products being affordable and reliable, we really have a diverse market. Uh, we have a very long-standing following with the, the 50 years of experience we have, so people count on the quality that Midland 50 brings. 50 years? Yes. Very nice. Okay. Now I'm seeing you have uh, a couple different setups. You got your the new PPG 100, is that that's what this is? Correct. Okay, and then you have a couple, Is they, are these both mobiles here? They are, they're GMRS mobiles. So which, which one separates, uh, what, what's different from this mobile from that mobile The there? biggest thing between the two is the, gonna be the power. Okay. Uh, this is a 15 watt radio, that's a 40 watt radio. Both of them have repeater channels built in. Uh, they will work with any of our GMRS handhelds, so if you've got somebody that's on foot, uh, they can function as a base camp. Uh, if you're doing a Jeep tour and you've got somebody that needs to guide you through a pass or you know a tough rock climbing expedition, uh, somebody can be outside the vehicle communicating with you on these with a handheld radio as well. Now something you made mention of uh, before we started our interview, you made mention that as how these radios hold up uh, as opposed to a ham radio or amateur radio, sure. a two meter, you mentioned something that you don't need necessarily a license to, to operate these radios, but yet they're very high powered. Tell me a little bit more about that. Correct. So GMRS, technically you do have to have a license, but there's no testing required. Uh, the license also covers your family, so you can buy one license that'll cover everybody in your household. Ham, there's a test that's uh, part of that. There's also a lot of different intricacies of how you can operate a ham radio uh, using call signs. Uh, GMRS is something that's available pretty much anywhere. Uh, we have retailers all across the country that carry our product. Uh, it's very easy to use. So you've got uh, a channel that your, your team is working on or your family's on, you tell everybody to go to the same channel, you're in communication. It's that simple to set up. Uh, this unit, for example, you can have this on a vehicle in five minutes ready to go with the mag mount antenna, so. Okay. Now, I think a lot of people were probably wondering, what's the range on your radios? What's, what, what, what radio is your average like your longest distance range. I know usually the mobile radios tend to reach out there a little bit further depending on their power outage. And I believe you said this one was 40? 40 watts. 40 watts. Yes. So about how far will that get you in perfect conditions? So range is always that tricky question because right. terrain plays in. So obviously if you're on the other side of a mountain from your buddy, you're probably not going to be able to get to them no matter what you're using. Right. Uh, the difference between these is the handhelds, let's say you start out at a half a watt, you're maxed out at a five watt. You can't do anything bigger than a five watt GMRS radio. These, we actually start out at a five watt. You have a dedicated power source, so you can use more power in doing that. You also have a movable antenna that you can put up on top of the vehicle, get to the highest point. Uh, our mobiles are gonna start out where you're getting somewhere in a range between, say, four to seven miles, uh, where you can go up to the, the 40 watt. Mm -hmm. We've actually had people report uh, on expeditions getting between 17 and 19 miles. So very diverse as far as what it is, but it really comes down to terrain. Here's a question for you. So it seems like you got, the radios that you guys have are pretty intricate, but yet they're easy to use. So while a family can see that they want to use it for something simple, like uh, they don't want to have to do a whole lot of research on how to operate a, a radio, for example. Right. But for those who are get really into it, you can really push it out to the furthest limits of what it's capable of. Does that sound about right? That is correct. So for example, I mentioned that the uh, the two mobiles here have the repeater channels built in. So if you're really wanting to get into that point where you want to talk around a mountain, what you can do is get permission to a local t a tower uh, and use a GMRS repeater. 
Now by doing that, you're basically using that as a base station to boost your signal again gotcha. to talk to your partner. So if you really get into it, there are higher levels that you can use in that case. Now I see you have a, some handhelds that are up there on the wall mm -hmm. as well. So you guys make not just the mobile and the, the PPG100, but you actually have some, some handhelds like you were talking about earlier. Correct. Did you say something about them being waterproof? How do they hold up with uh, certain weather conditions? So the ones that we have, they're, they're water resistant. We wouldn't say waterproof. Anytime you get electrical and waterproof, uh, it can become kind of a cross, cross of it. I've heard that. Yeah, it's, Someone it's said not, once that electricity and water don't mix. Don't mix. So uh, our, the one that's the most waterproof would be our GXT1000. That is our five watt radio. It's our best selling radio. Uh, we've made that for several years. You're gonna get the best range out of a handheld with that. Uh, the other ones, like you said, are more water resistant. The reason we haven't gone to a dedicated waterproof radio is again, that affordability. We want families to be able to afford our products. We want the general consumer to be able to go to a Cabela's or a Bass Pro and pick up something to use on the weekend. It's not gonna break the book, bank. So your radios, how hard would it be for someone that has very little radio experience to say that, you know, they're looking for something simple, but it's still right. capable if they, have, you know, they get into right. it more and more. How hard is it would it be for someone that has very little radio experience to buy it, put it in their vehicle and make it work with another radio. Sure. So for example, the, the MXT 115, you can have installed in the vehicle in less than five minutes. It's got a 12 volt adapter. You plug right into the cigarette lighter, uh, mount the mag mount antenna on top of the vehicle. You're ready to go. If you've got somebody with another radio, it's the same thing. And then you're literally saying, let's go to channel 10. You're in. So you mentioned this goes in a cigarette lighter? Yes, it's got a 12 volt accessory plug. So you don't actually have to, to hook it up hardware Correct. unless you wanted to. Correct. But you can actually put this in various vehicles with just a magnet on top. Correct. And you got a mobile ready to go within yep. minutes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I can appreciate that, definitely. I know a lot of people, they buy leased vehicles. They don't want to mm -hmm. drill holes in their vehicle. So yep. that's a huge plus. Yes. I know magnets are really coming into play right now with a lot of other products that are on the floor right now. But no, it's very interesting. Uh, if you guys want to check out more, check them out. It's going to be Midland Radio Corporation. And if you like our video, Please subscribe. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And until next time, get there.